Hey, yeah, can you see what I'm pointing my camera at? I'll see if I can get over there without falling on my desk. Hello, camera. And what do we have over here? <gasps> Little Pinguicula. They're so cute, aren't they? Oh, oh yeah, yeah. They look harmless. But as Alan Lowry once once told me when we were looking at some pygmy sundews, they have mean little bastards on their own size. Some little dead bugs on these pinguicula macroceras. Err. Yeah, there are pings over there. But look at this. This is so cool. I love seeing these. Of course, I really don't know what the hell this is anymore. Um, last I checked, it was Botrychium, but I don't know. I'll have to do some reading up on this to find out what this cute little fern is. Oh, they're so cute. Look at that. Sterile fronds and fertile fronds. I love these guys. Don't you? Hello, invisible camera person. So here I am in Washington State, uh, around 1,200 meters. Uh, elevation uh, right at the boundary of uh, King County and Kittitas County. I hope I'm getting the name right. I probably mucked it up. Uh, any event, um, uh, as you saw in the preview, um, looking for Pinguicula, saw Pinguicula macroceras. This is also Drosera territory. I'm going to be looking for some Drosera, seeing what I can find. Um, I don't know if it's going to rain, actually. Um, I'm above the rain. Um, I'm, as you can see, we're in the clouds. It's pretty cool. Um, oh, and also along the way, I might, I'm, I might run into some Triantha. I don't know. Um, maybe not today, but in the next couple of days, I'm hoping to find Triantha. All right. So wish me luck. Well, that was a pretty quick push through some vegetation. And here I've gotten to this cute little pond. Isn't it adorable? Yeah, it's so cute. Um, and I think that there's many Anthes trifoliata in the water, which is always a good sign. And a particularly good sign is, oh yeah, uh, you geeks out there are sitting there going, oh my God, look at that. Is that sphagnum? Oh my God, is that sphagnum? Yeah, I think we got some sphagnum over here. And then in the sphagnum, oh, what could be growing inside the sphagnum? Or on the sphagnum. Oh, yes. Yes, 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 yes. That's what you wanted to see, isn't it? Drosera anglica. Very nice. <laughs> you can see late in the season, it's just starting to form a little hibernacula. So cute. Gonna go to sleep soon. Well, okay, so right away that wasn't very hard. I'm growing in with the um, in the sphagnum with the menianthes and the drosera is this little monocot. You see this little beastie over here? What, not the that's drosera, uh, that's drosera anglica. Don't get confused. Um, um, this little plant right here with this is fluorescence. This is um, uh, pretty dang sure it's triantha. It's gone by, and you know usually when I've seen triantha in the fall, the flowers or the seed, the fruit are really brightly colored. But I guess if this is even washed out beyond that, they're often very very red. Um, but these are really pale, um, and uh, I busted these open, and there are seeds inside. And if you look at the seeds inside these things, I don't, you, I don't think you're able to see it in this video, um, but the seeds are um, uh, little uh, little orange things in um, white uh, papery sacks, and uh, they look just like the seeds that I just recently ordered from um, a, a firm in Oregon, uh, which I was uh, I was taking a look at under my under my microscopes. And I can see, yep, that's what it looks like. Yeah, so you got some triantha. Um, this is triantha occidentalis. Um, I believe that, uh, in he, this area, the subspecies is, is brevistyla. All right, there you go. There you go. There it is. Oh, the very plant that's been studied. And, you know, it is it is glandular and gunk. You know, I'm touching it. Ew, ew, sticky, sticky, sticky. Uh, the, the inflorescence in through here is all covered with little glandular hairs. Sticky, sticky, ew, sticky, sticky. You can see, oh, look it, look at it, it's stuck to me. Or is it, or my magnetic because of my COVID vaccine? I don't know, it's magical. All right. This is what I call Raimi Cam, if you know Sam Raimi and his videography. Any event, lots more Drosera Anglica. You know, I'm just itching to go out into this muck 
and go looking for your tricularia out there. But I only have one pair of boots with me, and that's all. And I, <laughs> I don't want to get all mucked up. So unless I see something right, right, right at the water's edge, the utricularia in this pond will have to remain a mystery to science. Oh. Ooh, more Drosera anglica. Ooh. Yeah, you got it. Lots more triantha growing along in this sphagnus area. <laughs> it's really cool. Ooh. You know how many times I've walked past triantha and I've never triantha and I've never given a second thought. Just like, eh, cute plant. Interesting mysteries of the world revealed. Okay, here you go. This is really what I'm used to seeing when I'm see when I see tri triantha. Um, the the fruit are really bright red. You see this? Okay, so this is way more typical, at least from my experience. I guess that the ones that I've been showing you up, up until now, they've all been bleached out by the elements. But um, here you can see how bright red these fruit are. Yeah, this is man. I I guess I never noticed just how damn gummy ass this plant is. This that's I should that that should be the common name for this plant. Gummy ass plant. All right, well, there you go. Yeah, I have been looking all over and I haven't been able to find any utricularia in this water. So, huh? Maybe it's not here. It's nice squelchy habitat. Hey, so I'm sorry about my last outburst of calling this plant a rather profane name, but you know who I blame? A certain profane botanist who we probably all follow, know, and love. It's his fault, not mine. All right, really pretty spot. Well, I'm gonna take uh, some geek photographs and more stuff like that, and then I'm gonna head over to the next site. Well, conditions have degraded. This is now called hiking in the rain. <laughs> but there's a ping site I want to go take a look and see if I can find having, not quite having sated myself with Triantha and Drosera anglica, perhaps Pinguicula macroceros lies ahead. <laughs> Finally, found an orchid. Raymond is my frequent companion in the field and he's the orchid guy and he would tell me what this is without batting an eyelash but i don't know what this one is platanthera biparia something or other i'm not in california so i'm not going to guess okay took my trail found a little spur trail it's taking me down to this beautiful clearing in the forest following a stream um, I don't know if you can tell it's still raining, but I'm going to explore this area, see what's in this clearing. Looks quite promising. So here's the uh, stream that goes through the middle of this little field. This is a glade, and sure enough, water's edge in the stream. I don't know if you can see. Oh, there they are. Drosera anglica. There's a lot of Drosera anglica here. Um, and some of the really nice fruit. Um, and um, I don't know if you can pick out right at the center. It's kind of, uh, I can't, uh, <laughs> let me see if I can get a closer view for you. Um, there's some more triantha in fruit. Very nice. The weather's really degrading, so this is probably my last video. Just to show you, um, in this field, got uh, a whole bunch of a flower or inflorescences of the triantha. It's really cute. There's also a couple of flowers here of, uh, of uh, Parnassus. I don't know what species this is, but it's a really adorable little thing. I'm going to find out what this thing is. It's so cute! All right, any of that. All right, have a great day. Cheers. Here we are in Mount Baker area. That lake down there, I think, is where I want to head. Let's see if I can find some pings right at the center of the video, of the screen. So this is really sweet. Um, here in Whatcom County, I have found in a pretty popular hiking area near Mount Baker, a really beautiful set of, of um, triantha, um, occidentalis, a brevifolia, a brevistyla, 
And um, what's really sweet about these is these are fresh enough, these plants are fresh enough with their uh, bright fruit that I was able to get some really good close-up photographs of the plants eating. <laughs> As I had hoped to find on this rock wall, southern exposure seeping with water, nicely exposed way up there. You can see little Pinguicula macroceras. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get very close to any of them, but there they are. I'm photographing Triantha and Pinguicula on this rocky slope. There's a little bit of wind. I'll show you a little field trick that I'm using. I've got my tripod here with the camera set up, and I've got this plant, the Triantha, right there, and a little bit of wind, so I've got a sedge stem connecting the tripod, the top of the camera, to the Triantha. I'm taking photographs just beneath that little stem so it's not going to block the field, uh, get the field of view. Yes, this is a little photo tip. Join my news club, and I'll charge you monthly for further photo tips. So this has been a really enlightening uh, couple of days of explorations for me in uh, spectacular sites in Washington State. Um, seeing Triantha and uh, in its different habitats, I, it's fascinating to see this plant. I was cons I was cautious about really accepting it, thinking it as a carnivorous plant because of momentum of thought. But you know, this plant lives in the same habitats as Drosser and Pinguicula, and it's got it's got these glands you can see insects being trapped on it really extraordinary it's good science behind it it's really cool stuff anyway great couple of days in the field